we're going to be going over how I just created that intro right there. Hey, what's going on? Hope you're doing all right. My name is Matt and this is Dwyer Creatives. And today we're going to go over how to create that intro right here that I made earlier. Now, this is a pretty simple process. You basically take two clips and you go into your editor and do a few little things. To do this transition, you're going to need your bag or your box with the products inside of it. Now, the first thing you want to do is go ahead and get a nice flat lay of it. And for me, I put my camera directly above it. And then I have lights to get a good amount of lighting here. Next thing you want to go ahead and get your phone and make sure that you get a nice green screen for the background. I just went online, found the shade of green that I like. And for this, you want to make sure that you have your phone as even as possible to get a very even shade of green so that this entire thing is roughly one shade of it. This will allow you when you go into your editor for it to pick it up more easily and distinguish it from everything else around it. What we're going to do here is since I have a light here and a light over here, I just want to make sure I don't get that reflection in it. All I'm going to do is pan my phone from one side to the other. So let me go ahead, do this from here. Do a few fast, few slow to see what you like to do. Okay, so I think one of those three or four passes should work. I'm going to ahead and put my phone away. The next thing you want to do is go ahead and open up your bag or box. And you want to make sure that you do your best to not move it from the spot it's in. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up. Inside, I'm going to have my camera, lenses, filters, and careful not to move anything. So you just want to make sure that you have it kind of aesthetically where it's, you want it. For me, I don't want the filters, this extra cloth in here. And I do want to put my camera strap in there. So let me go grab that. I don't know where my camera strap is. I'm going to go ahead and tuck my camera strap in here just so that I have something else in there. This is going to be what you're going to see when you pan the phone. So let me go ahead and take roughly a 10 second clip of this that I can use. So let's give it 10 seconds. A few moments later. We're going to break this up into two clips. So you have one like this and then the previous one with it closed with your phone panning with the green screen. Let's go ahead and just jump into CapCut. Now I'm going to be doing this on my phone, but you can do this on the desktop. If you have the premium version, it is going to work a little bit better and I'll show you what I mean when we get there. As I said, you're going to take that video and break it up into two clips. The first one is going to be you panning over your bag or box. The second one is going to be that bag or box open. Now what we want to do is come to this first clip and I'm going to go all the way down here to overlay to make this sit on top. Now you want to make sure the one with the green screen is sitting on top. I'm going to come here right to the end of the clip and just cut the second one down because I want them to be even, right? You don't want any excess there. Now from here, you're going to go back to that one that has the green screen. You're going to move over here to remove background. You're going to select chroma key and then you're going to select that green background. And this is where I said, if you have a green that stays a constant at that exact shade, it'll help it pick it up more easily. So that's where this comes into play. Now I have the intensity at about, what is that? Starts at 20, I'll leave it maybe 25. You can kind of mess with it to get your own results. And this is where the premium would be a little helpful. You can see a slight little green edging around it. With the pro subscription, you can feather that out, clean up the edges a little bit so you can't even see it. But for me, this is what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna head and select OK, and then I'm gonna play it. So right here, that shows you everything in it. And now you know how to do that same transition with the green screen as I did in the intro. From here, I would go ahead and color grade it. I did shoot in D-Log because I'm shooting on my Osmos Pocket 3. But if you wanted to make it easier for yourself, just shoot in auto. What I would do from here is go ahead and export this as a single file. I would bring it back in, go ahead and flip it so it's vertical, make sure that it's ready for the social media platform that I want. This is probably would be for either Instagram or TikTok. Maybe it would be for a short. One little quick thing right here. When you are finished and you're ready to export it to those platforms, most of them want a lower quality than 4K. YouTube, you can do 4K, but for the other ones, you want to do a lower one. So for my export settings that I like to use for this, I'm going to be using a resolution of 1080, a frame rate of 30, and a code rate of the medium. For me, I find this gives you the best results. That's it. That's how you create that green screen transition with your phone. If you have any questions about this process, let me know down in the comment section below. If you have any tutorials that you'd like me to go over, leave those down there too. And I'm just going to go ahead and wrap this up here. 
Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.